Graham Stephan and his friends are coming out the woodworks talking about cryptocurrency, blockchain technology, and specifically Bitcoin. We need to talk about the bad because I don't think it's just gonna be smooth sailing from here on out. First is regulation. The Financial Crimes Enforcement Network just recently proposed a new regulation that would require people identify themselves and their personal information upon request when transferring more than $3,000. So this is basically an argument against Bitcoin and I don't see how it could be an argument against Bitcoin. Think about it. Right now, all your transactions are currently tracked anyways through your bank and any other financial institution, right? They have to tax you some way. Now in Bitcoin, it's the same thing. I don't see why people have to be anonymous in Bitcoin. I don't think that's a good thing for Bitcoin. Regulation is going to push the effort to give it more legitimacy as a cryptocurrency. So this is a good thing. Uh, regulation is definitely a good thing. And if I were to go a little bit deeper, the way they've regulated this, and we've already talked about this on other videos on the channel, is very wishy-washy. They really don't know how to regulate this. So the rules and the KYC requirements is really just kind of like a stab at Bitcoin and not the true regulation they're going to come to a conclusion to. So again, this is just a way for them, you know, know, to recognize it as a cryptocurrency. And if you look at the IRS tax forms, actually the first question that they ask you. So this is getting more legitimate as time goes on, guys, not less legitimate. I'll have to ask my accountant about that. <laughs> uh. The second is the alleged price manipulation. Now, it was suggested that the meteoric rise of Bitcoin in 2017 was largely driven by coordinated price manipulation using the stablecoin Tether. Now, for those not aware, Tether is a cryptocurrency that's meant to mirror the US dollar. And they claim that they hold one US dollar and or its equivalent for every one Tether in existence. So it's really no different than you giving them one US dollar and them giving you back one Tether with that exact same face value. But the problem is, is there any actual proof that Tether is indeed backed by the US dollar. And who's to say they're not just taking your money and then just creating as much Tether as they want to, buying Bitcoin with it, and then driving up the price. Now, as of now, they have refused a true third-party audit on their financials. Last year, they also had to change their website to say that Tether is now backed by other assets and receivables from loans made by Tether to third parties, which may include affiliated entities. In the last few months, the market cap of Tether has also skyrocketed, leading people to wonder wonder how much of that is actually backed by US currency and how much of that is driving up the price of Bitcoin. Could they just create Tether out of thin air and then buy Bitcoin with it? And that has yet to be confirmed or denied. Yeah. Now this point I agree on. Tether is pretty much a scam. A lot of people involved are getting locked up as we speak. But what I will say is I don't really believe um, the fact that you know Tether was the only thing that pumped the price of Bitcoin in 2017. The only thing I believe in what he's saying is the fact that they are uh, pretty much a scam. And it is a top cryptocurrency. Now, this is where uh, research comes into play. So you can weed out the bad projects versus the good projects. Now, I don't believe the whole cryptocurrency market is tied to Tether, though. If Tether fell down and the SEC found out some type of uh, illegal activity, uh, I don't believe it's going to take the price of Bitcoin down. If, if you look at the institutional adoption right now, most people are converging on Bitcoin. Tether, it's relevant. But how do I say this? It's irrelevant at the same time. Now, third, we got to talk about price volatility. It's no surprise Bitcoin can go down just as fast as it could go up. In the last few days alone, it went from 28,000 to 34,000, then back to 28,000, then back to $31,000 within a few hours. Large sell orders can easily cause the entire market to drop five to 10% in a matter of minutes. And one big purchase could easily cause the entire market to skyrocket 5% instantaneously. And if we look back beyond just a few day window, there has consistently been a major collapse every few years that wipes out the majority of its value. In 2011, it saw a 93% drop. 2012 saw a 56% drop. 2013 saw a 73% drop. 2015 saw an 85% drop. 2017 saw an 81% drop. But time after time after that, it's continually hit new all-time highs. So the question of volatility, now there's an easy way to answer this. It's a very new cryptocurrency. It's less than 15 years old. And if you look into the law of diminishing returns, it basically explains that as more money gets adopted in cryptocurrency, the less volatile it gets. If you look at what's happening now, the pullbacks in this bull run are getting far less than what they were back in the day. So that proves that volatility will lessen over time. What you have to understand is that Bitcoin is not controlled by anybody. So we will have manipulation from other entities across the world. But when it comes to like something like a fiat currency, like United States dollar, guys, they have full control over it, which they 
they can avoid big drops. And they've done this before with stimulus checks. They've done it with you know inflation. They've done it with quantitative easing, corporate buybacks. They can manipulate the price so that it makes it comfy and warm and fuzzy for you guys. But I would argue to say that real life mimics volatility. Look at your life, right? There's times where things are great and there's times that things are bad. It's never just always great, right? So I would even go as far as to say that the artificial inflation in the United States government with the United States back dollar is the wrong route to go. And eventually there will be a big crash. There will be something massive like the Great Depression or the Great Recession because of all of this artificial propping up, right? At least with Bitcoin, you know what you're getting yourself into. Would you rather be punched by a guy that you don't know or would you rather get punched by a guy that's telling you he's punching you in the face right that's essentially the same thing with cryptocurrency in my opinion <laughs>